Yo, Chinese New Year is just around the corner. That means it is time for the gathering of friends and family and lots of good food. And for Chinese New Year, all of us know that we gotta wear red, right? But red can be a little bit intimidating. It is such a loud color. How can we even pull it off? Well, don't worry, gentlemen, I got your back. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my top six super badass ways to rock that red color like a pro. And without further ado, let's begin. Okay, first up, let's keep it simple. I call this the casual red. Here we have a red t-shirt, a pair of black jeans, finishing it off with some white sneakers. This is for when you're just chilling and when you're just keeping it casual. You don't want to think too much, right? You just want to wear some red to fit into the festive occasion. Now, of course, you can easily wear some blue jeans, but black jeans, it is just more low-key, right? And it gives the spotlight to the red top. Okay, on to outfits number two. Let's step it up just a little bit. I call this the casual cool. Here we have a pink t-shirt with some khaki pants, finishing it off with some white sneakers. Now, pink is a softer kind of red, right? And it tones down the overall brightness and saturation of the outfit to make it a little less flashy and more under the radar. And the khaki colored pants also fits the overall softer and more earthly toned vibes, making the outfit well matched and harmonious. Okay, on to outfit number three. Let's take it up another notch. I call this the Chinese New Year dress to impress. Here we have a white linen shirt, a pair of red or burgundy colored chino pants, finishing it off with some loafers. You can wear the shirt tucked in or untucked. I personally prefer to tuck it in to have that smarter look. The red or the burgundy colored pants is super fabulous for the occasion and the white shirt just makes the overall outfit look super bright and clean. This is definitely something that you could wear if you are visiting your grandparents or your girlfriend's family where you want to look well put together, right? Where you want to look polished and well dressed. Okay, on to outfit number four. Let's inverse the top and the bottom of the previous outfit and I call this one handsome son of a gun. Here we have a pink linen shirt. Of course, you can go with a red shirt if you wanna. For the bottom, we have a pair of white jeans, finishing it off with a pair of loafers. Likewise, you can wear it both tucked in or untucked. And I just love it when I tuck it in. This is just one of those outfits that is just sophistication. Definitely also one of those outfits that you wear if you want to dress to impress. On to outfit number five here. We are pulling out our big guns. And I call this Mr. Chinese New Year. Here we have a red color traditional Chinese shirt, a pair of black trousers, finishing it off with some black leather dress shoes. Now, of course, you can also rock a pair of white leather sneakers if you want to be a little bit less formal and you want to go for that contrast look, but I prefer the black shoes. This is the most perfect outfit that you can wear for the Chinese New Year. It is red, it is bright, it is traditional, and it is just fabulous. The star of this outfit, it is no doubt the red traditional Chinese shirt. That is why we are keeping the bottom and the rest of the outfit black to keep it low key. And pro tip, right? If your short sleeve shirt, the sleeves are too baggy, you can easily roll them up a few times. It will make them look more proportionate and it will make you look smarter. If you rock this outfit, you are gonna be the best dressed man in any Chinese New Year get together. Okay, last but not least, outfits number six. Let's introduce more red to this festive occasion. And I call this the gentleman on fire. Here we have the pink linen shirt, a pair of red or burgundy pants, finishing it off with some white sneakers. Who knew you can have a monochromatic look in red. The pro tip here is to wear a different shade of red for your top and your bottom. And in this case, a lighter shade of red on top and a darker shade of red below. I mean, you could wear the same shade of red for everything. Then you just literally look like a walking red packet, a walking ang bao. But I like to keep things toned down, right? I like to keep things 
classy. That is it for today's video. Let me know which one is your favorite outfit down in the comments below. And make sure to smash that thumbs up button to let me know you have a super dope outfit, man. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Happy Chinese New Year. Daja Xin Yan Kuai Le. And I'll see every single one of you in my next video. Bye.